And now we have a heartline from Henry in Victoria, Canada. Thank you all for World Vegan, World Peace. Here is a short story of my imagination. The most precious and the most beautiful, Ultimate Timkul 2. I am very grateful for your continuous love and endeavors, establishing the Life Force Foundation of Pure Enlightenment that penetrates Earth with luminous, tender, loving care, which transforms all beings to Christ Consciousness. Your steadfast, loving vibrations, a foundation of oneness for all, leads the way. Unlike many religions that build their foundations on slaughtered, vulnerable beings having only personal gains and interests, they treat themselves well, disregard whether others have enough to eat or dry shelter to rest. Such foundations are built like castles on sand, which collapse under the first good rain. I am so sorry, the most beloved Supreme Master Tim Kotu, that you carry such a heavy burden. Please accept my humble offering of a shoulder to lean on. I am writing from the place between heaven and hell, between joy and suffering, where the Supreme Being expresses love through all lives in all directions. When I was a child, I had a dream where all beings around the world held one another's hands, rooted in your gift of love as one community. I knew if somewhere there is a God, then your love would smile through the hearts of all, bringing total harmony, where all beings would strive to be happy and prosper. This community no longer needed any leadership, no money, nor anything. Every being possessed Christ consciousness and behaved as if the God they recognized in others mattered. Everyone is so busy helping and loving each other, forgetting themselves, forgetting to eat or drink, and yet are fed by the passion of Christ and by love radiating through their whole beings. Soon there is nothing else left to do, and here is the end of my imagination. May our beloved Ultimate Tim Kotu have very good health, feel strong, be inspired, and always have a very safe and protected place to rest and work. Henry from Victoria, Canada. Visionary Henry, we so enjoyed your vivid story. Thank you for letting us share it on air. Be happy as Master speaks to your heart. Gracious Henry, I am a big fan of such idealistic imagination. United, let's continue to meditate for a peaceful vegan paradise, as you have illustrated through your beautiful words. Thanks for the shoulder to lean on. May you and wholesome Canada always receive soothing waves of celestial love. Miss seeing a gentle soul such as yours. It is said that offering to the wisdom deities the flesh and blood of a slaughtered animal is like offering to a mother her murdered child, the Venerable Patro Rinpoche, vegetarian. We welcome your heartlines, stories, and or cute loving animal people clips. Please send them via suprememastertv.com forward slash heartline.